What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to pick up where we left off, last episode was particularly disastrous. I think probably the most disastrous episode um, I've ever recorded. But in this episode, a Austrian, uh, an Austrian troop has wandered just a bit too close to our lines and we can now intercept and we'll draw in both this small force here with about three constituent units and also this larger force here to the south and it will blow open the passage south towards northern Italy. So let us intercept and destroy this Austrian unit. So it looks like we're going to have to fight a bit more of a um, significant battle to get into Jerusalem. The uh, Yeah, no, Damascus. Damascus, sorry. Um, in the Middle East. But that's okay. We have significant numbers of troops in the region just waiting for such an operation. So I think it's about time we um, apply some pressure in the west as well. So we're going to be on the move here, trying to be offensive. So let's take these troops. So this army, is, it's got a bit of experience behind it. It's got one infantry guard unit, or one guard infantry unit. And we chasse up yet on the flank, backed up by the bulk of the cavalry. Bag. Group. 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 There we go. General in the centre. So, a bit of a general purpose formation. Let's let our... So you're the infantry that's caused all the problems. So let's advance, because we've got... Aha, okay. Field artillery. You have a new target. The gun's on the ridge. Skirmishers advance. You can't ever trust moving units up in group formation, because the, the AI normally doesn't do it right. There we go, my long-range gunnery. Oh, you accidentally hit the general's bodyguard, eh? Nope, go for the puckle guns. My howitzers might even have a good sh good chance at engaging them at extended range. But we're going to quick climb this area here, because it's up axis of where all the enemy troops are going to be coming in. So the general's bodyguard is hoping to get a, a good charge off, but they're going to get shot to pieces. And then my chaps will form square. So this was the the general of the of the um, formation that had three troops. Advance with advance at speed. Likely to take these two units on the right and curve the formation. Let's advance at my rifles in the trees. Cavalry extend out. got quite a good opportunity here to try catch them in catch them quite significantly in the flanks let's keep okay let's get our howitzers no they, they're okay uh, artillery oh, they're puckle guns don't worry about the puckle guns hit the heavy horse guard artillery there you go the chasse d'arpied should do some real damage to the swiss line okay let's actually give my quick climbing howitzers some real targets. The captain commanding this position has now been killed. They're receiving fire, so they're starting to withdraw already. Oh no, they've unlimbered, sorry. My mistake. Artillery inbound, though, should do some real damage to them. It's killed a few crew, but it hasn't actually destroyed the gunners. Ah. Always forget about the light infantry. They're definitely one of my weakest troop types. I'm really not so good at using light infantry. Let's 
So run you guys through the cavalry, run you guys through the cavalry, run the hussars in. My cavalry can get up here and attack the heavy horse artillery. You guys engage the horse artillery up on the ridge. Keep running my chasseur away. Because my hussars are able to do some damage. The morale is... The, the, the damage that those gunners can do is quite significant. And they are significantly good, but I do want to kill the crew. I want to kill the last gunner. There we go. Now get up there. All my field artillery engage targets on the field. Let's bring my cuirassier in as well. You guys are suitable to charge this line because they've put some spikes up which might cause us a few casualties. You men charge the Windbush Jaeger. You men advance. Quick line the remaining units that are standing firm. There's a bit of an enemy push. On the right charge the grenadiers into them try kill the crew but it's okay if you don't actually you guys might charge probably best if you just charge the guards these hussars are going to smash into the grenadier guards let's get a cavalry artillery unit to focus on, or you two, to focus on the Haller Regiment. These two guys continue to drop quick climb in the centre of their formation. I need to just quickly squeak at my audio controls. My general nail it around the rear of their position. Field artillery, ceasefire, howitzers, ceasefire. You guys chase down the Wimbush Jäger. You guys should do some real damage to the guards. It looks like most of well, this is unit of Puckle guns remaining. The Haller regiment looks in, uh, increasingly upset. The Hussars can chase down the Grenadiers. You men fall back. You chase down the Grenadier guards. Quick climb, focus on the European mercenaries. You guys run over here and try hit the Grenadiers. Not entirely bothered about Puckle Guns. Skirmishes will constantly whittle down and damage the 41st. Although you have actually... They're dead. So you men cease fire. Get my Hussars up here. My General's up in the right position. Attack the 4th Foot Guards. Cease my artillery fire. You guys kill these last Wimbush Jäger. There is a spike, sort of cavalry defences there. Oh, I'm not sure if I like the odds of my light infantry charging uphill into the Haller Regiment. But it looks like they're actually doing okay. Feels that like you're not going to kill those infantry guards. You want to do some real damage to them, but you're not going to wipe them out. They might take them out. Take a light infantry unit to advance towards the pocket guns. You guys continue to annihilate those infantrymen there. Kill the last of these grenadiers. Good, then go after the Western European mercenaries. You've killed about 20 guards before you guys routed. Yeah, speed up time. It's two expat infantry. Was one infantry. One expert infantry unit there. Let's 
So let's run you guys out of the way, because the, the puckle guns still exist. Their cavalry, their um, crew are still on the map. Not quite sure where they've gone. Oh no, maybe they did count as. Hmm. That's a bit, a bit of a shock, but there we go. I expected the, the puckle gun crew to still be alive, because they were running away. But there we go, we lost 700 men, they lost 2,600. So a delightful blow into Austrian territory. Yeah, so that was the first defeat was in Naples, and then another defeat was towards um, was towards Damascus. They've gained some renewed vigour. Yeah, so now the garrison's been significantly damaged. They're feeling the need to uh, ship some troops back and rejig their current formation. How quaint. But we've got a lot of fighting this turn. So this army that was currently marching north towards... Um, towards the port to the north, and the name escapes me for the moment. Ooh, so you guys... I wonder if you guys are abandoning Petrovskaya. I hope so. We're defending against a Sally, which looks like we have to fight it, because... Balance of power is 50-50, even though they're really depleted. So we're going to have to fight or defend against the Sally. This is potentially the last turn because we have been um, sieging Konigsberg for a very, very, very long time indeed. So there is a chance this is the final throw of the dice. The garrison have been bled dry from siege warfare. And now they're attempting to... Uh, finish us off so again sometimes the a the ai decides to deploy in a weird diagonal then sometimes they the ai if they're sufficiently weak they deploy right in front of you which is always lovely because it means they're there they're so weak they don't want to walk in may i mean it could be a calculation based on your artillery strength maybe they say no you now just have so much firepower we can't sit back and let and um, advance to you we have to get up in your face which if they did that that's really cool but I don't know I don't know if they put that much thought into this there we go this is a lovely lovely army Yeah, there we go. So this, 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 this can happen. Shrapnel shot the guard unit right there. You guys hit the 24th life guards. My other unit all the way over there can fire round shot. Howitzer's shots are away onto this unit. Well, that's them taken care of. Change target onto the onto the provincial cavalry and again let shrapnel shot has just cut half of the sick horse guard into pieces you men by a shrapnel shot at the 35th they're out of range now but by the time they've reloaded they will likely be in range there we go so our other artillery piece aim at the 8th regiment with your shrapnel shot. One of you's bugged. Shrapnel shot's just come in and blasted some real holes there. Yeah. Cavalry's turning back. You guys face down the cuirassier guards. Mm, it's concerning they can actually lob shells. They're lobbing shells over the wall. You guys hit the fusiliers. I mean, you guys yeah, hit the cuirassier guards. You guys hit the dragoons. So two guns are ready. Four guns are ready. The fifth are bugged. That should have been a destroyed gun for sure, I guess. But I'll take it. Two misses. If they get hits now... A great big clump of cavalry there. 
Dragoons, Curacia Guards, Dragoons, Dragoons. But they push the cavalry further out onto the flank. Okay, horse artillery, make a way. Make a way in. So the 22nd Dragoons are emptying our... They're emptying our musket barrels. You guys attack the Fusiliers. Howitzers hit the Marines. These guys make a hole. So the Curacia Guards have returned. Destroyed the middle gun. Although there is no wreckage of it. So they missed the Curacia Guard and got hit against the regiment of this regiment of dragoons. Um, very well. Advance up the left flank. Oh, did these? Oh, these guys charged up and dismounted. You guys into a bread, are you? Yeah, these dragoons are going to break. There they go. I mean, they can't run around outside in front of our artillery like this all day. Otherwise, otherwise they're just going to get blown to pieces. Make a way in. We're going to have to get some troops up onto that wall. I'll keep my cavalry close to my guns. The Curiosity Air Guards are... They're not charging, but they're advancing. So you can tell when they get charge orders because you, you hear the trumpet and they um, hop up. They're like... They, they raise their swords and... Like right now, they're just running forwards until all the muskets go off and and they take some damage. So yeah, they're st still not charging. I don't know what... There you go, now they're charging, but they're broken because they're in... They're in point-blank range. So who's that? A regiment of horse. Very well. Cavalry. Get up here. Advance on both flanks. So you guys scale the walls. Some marines are going to go down here to guard you. Well, but they're not going to be alone. Got a bunch of artillery uh, ready to provide fire support. I mean, you're still going to make your way in, so might, you guys might actually hold the whole ground nearby. A lot of cavalry in here as well. Mm, these fusiliers, yeah, they're, they're deploying stakes. Not a great idea. We're right here. It's the 156th. 155th. The militia are charging, so you men make ready. No, they were charging. And they're wavering, they don't like that. They're shattered. Very well. All my artillery. Make a hole. Howitzers. Round shot. There's enemy regiment of horse. Go get him, Curacier. Now you guys cease cease the assault.
the artillery is actually charging out, which is nice. These men deploy state, uh, deploy square. You men charge there. You guys can just charge whomever you like. Artillery. Cease fire. Breach has been made. Well, I'm pretty sure these... Okay, there's a QRCA unit. Did they charge out front? Yeah, they did. Heavy cavalry broken. QRCA. Yeah, nope. They don't... Uh... They don't like our squares, especially a square manned by marines. That's a particularly tough target for a cavalry unit. Let's bring the cavalry, my hussars, in to also destroy this regiment of horse. And they come. Ah... I do like Hussars. Oh, I probably shouldn't have given them that next order because the charge just stopped. Stopped completely. Yeah, that's the only... This cavalry unit's the only cavalry left, so let's speed up because we know what the, what the, result, the result is going to be. we have got heavy cavalry involved in this combat, so it's unlikely to go any other way because heavy cavalry are awesome. You cut them down to half size, to half numbers. There we go. Oh, these Fusiliers came back. Bad, big mistake, Fusiliers. Yeah, they know it. <laughs> they know it was a big mistake. They know they, they shouldn't have fired at us because <laughs> they all just turned around and went, you! There we go, lost 94 men. And the garrison is nearly completely destroyed, which is delightful. Yeah, don't worry, Sweden. Uh, auto resolve that. Glorious victory. Oh, took a bit of a pummeling there. There we go. So Riga is only garrisoned by a weak garrison. I don't know why I was looking for words other than garrison there. See, they, see they're doing it again. So sometimes they're going to retreat, combine, and then attack. Whereas sometimes they just go, no, I'm going to run around you. And run around you. And you just think, you buggers. Come on now. Don't be don't be like that. Just just walk into my muzzle fire. My muzzle flashes and so on. Yes, yeah, so they've pushed us out of Marseille. So this is I'd be lying if I said this wasn't a concern. But let's just run. Got one unit that's replenishing that's gonna get into the right sort of position. We've got a unit here, an army here that's the composition isn't great but it's okay so let's advance there to act as a bit of bait to see if we can draw these guys into an attack they're pretty weak actually lots of provincial cav got some household cavalry but you know that is pretty weak especially with a large number of irregulars as well i mean i'm surprised you've not done any anything frustrating so let's run around to the south with you i mean that could be what they were waiting for I mean, we've got the garrison here that can push against these two armies. Felix Hamel, eh? Leopold Hamel, two brothers. So you men replenish. Ferdinand de la Flotte, push to the south. And siege Vienna. We're not going to take it yet. I want to set everything up first. So obviously we've got our own Felix Larocque. You men all replenish. This garrison's just been holding for an awful long time. Um, we've got... Obviously... I mean, you guys have pretty much fought that battle. So let's run... Run you guys... Away... Oh, still draw them in. Very well. Let's just keep them here. I was going to auto-resolve it to take the city, but I don't want to damage Ferdinand, so let's let them sally again. It's not critical we take the city this turn. You are on your way to Kiev. 
So we've got an army to the south waiting to push us. But we've got Adrian, Murray, Sax, Sonse here waiting. Obviously, you guys are in a bad way. Did I set up emergency recruitment for you? I did, by the looks of things, which is pretty good. So you men retreat. So it looks like I can send... If I can get you here, get you behind them, you behind them, and bring you... Go that way to prevent them from routing up the hills. You're not a fight. You're not a main offensive force. You're going to push into the desert. There, he, there they are. I thought there was a little army of stragglers in the desert. So you men continue south, looking for them. You're still waiting for. Units to be recruited. Everyone else is pushing. So you're not within range of that Ottoman stack yet. You can go and attack Adolf Anderson to clear them off that bridge. Back you go. So now you're in the right piece of terrain. You're going to push up to Cherkask as well. You're going to actually push up to this gap. You're going to run right up next to this guy. And... Oh! Nadges! I misclicked. I'm going to right click with my... Can my cavalry not attack them? Oh no, no one's got... Okay, so we might temporarily lose... Our, our, um, Astrakhan, because they ran around this side and misclicked this side of him rather than attacking him frustrating but not the end of the world yes, my lord. you are within range of that farmland if they attempt to raid us you are still in a good blocking position especially on the road now we can start to build up our i mean to be honest you could just probably attack them yes, sir. if they retreated to kazan that would be perfect because then you could follow them up to kazan and then this army here can run up and secure Ust. But that reminds me. Second to the north. Put Petrovskaya under siege. The garrison here is being built. First of all, mustn't get too carried away. Because right now we're fighting everywhere on the continent. I, always, I am getting a bit carried away. So you run over here. I, mean, I say that, then I do exactly the same thing again. There we, we go. Are victorious. So, Sir. Sebastian, here you guys embark. Get aboard ship and let's sail them to Cartagena. They can take these garrison guards and they can rebuild their army. go. So you men replenish. Let's pick one of our cavalrymen to become the next general. Perrin Deville. And then what do you need? Cool infantry if you can get any. Three of them. I think I see marines further down the line. Cairo infantry guards. Oh, that's what I see. I can see their elbow. Eh, meh. No, no, not colonial line. No way, I think these, these... No, these do count as... No, I thought they might have counted as colonial line because they are technically our colonies because we are elsewhere in the world. You're running down to block these guys like that way. You're blocking them from going north. Okay, firstly, first, first, first. It always seems easier to just treat these things as going from east to west. Can you guys leave Chechnya? No, you can't. And because religious unrest is going down, I'm going to build a coaching in here instead. This army that got smashed by the Ottomans is now at full strength again. So you guys can actually go towards Ankara itself. Because soon we're going to have to launch an attack on 
Istanbul, although Istanbul are very unhappy. They're very war weary. With a reasonable little fleet there. So let's upgrade this guy to a dockyard, which will take four turns. Sweet. Four turns of building four fifth rates. Four fourth rates, I should say. Um, first, we want to take. Again, we want to go east to west, and there are many fights. So you guys go and engage Oster. Austin Gunderson. Because hopefully he retreats back towards Kazan, because then we can lay siege to him and bottle him up. And then we can move our other force to the east, up and around towards the rear. Then we could potentially, down the line, get ready to link up with our forces at Petrovskaya. We will have encircled the enemy front. Uh, terrain's a bit iffy. Artillery by a long range from this piece of terrain here. How oh, it says support and attack. Support the attack in the center, which will be taken on by these units. These mercenaries actually can stay out of it. There you go. Five units up front. Five units in the center. Three on the right flank. Two on the left flank. bulk of our cavalry on the left because that's where our weakness is put some heavy cavalry on our right general in the center so let's pick pick their strongest cavalry units for quick line fire i would like this central hill good we've got a good quick climb hit on their cavalry you men are securing the lower ground towards the farm. I hear a charge. Two provincial cavalry units. Very well. Let's let them charge up a little bit more. Then drop everyone into squares. Looks like it's happening across the board. Halt. Fire it will off. Curiosier, get involved. There we go. So now you guys... You guys deploy square. There we go. So the initial cavalry charge has been knocked out. Okay, no. Okay, those guys are going to charge that unit of mercenaries. So you guys get out of... Get into square formation. Okay, howitzers. Engage. Whatever you can get your hands on. Field artillery. Focus on the 12 pounders. Cavalry is advancing on the left. Okay, you guys drop into square as well. So that's what usually why I tend to drop two units next to each other into square because when they run into the middle they kind of get tangled around in both of them there we go we're engaging these enemy forces here 21st regiment drop into square heavy cavalry still take out the regiment of horse you guys are also dropping into square because the 50th regiment are coming in you're still in square 34th Regiment of Horse coming in and you're kind of ping-ponging around this Regiment of Dragoons. So who's that? Very well. Let's run an infantry unit up to threaten the guns. Colonial Light charge up. They can take the uh, they can take the hit. Well what's going to happen is they're going to charge the militia and my I'll tip my light cavalry is going to charge the guns. Bring my heavy cavalry back, because that provincial cav isn't going to last very long. You're staying in square formation. You guys can get out of it and advance up onto the ridge. Heavy cavalry charge them. Who's that back there? Regiment of Line Infantry. 
attack the attack their cavalry, their um, artillery crews. Make sure they die. We don't want them getting away. You men switched to round shot. Not round shot. I've accidentally dragged my general into this. Not a terrible idea. There we go. So I let my heavy cavalry attack the militia because they are. They chunk away at things. Howitzers cease fire. Attack the general's bodyguard. You guys are going to clear out the. This line infantry unit, everywhere, everyone else is pretty decisively defeated. You guys fire it will off, because you want to kill a bunch of my own cavalry. I'll tell you what you can do. Advance up towards this unit of line infantry, because I'm hoping... There we go. So deselect my general. Take these units. Push them up. Try and evict... The 45th Regiment away from their dug-in position. My light cavalry engage the 60th. There we go, they're already doing it. Yeah, they may as well keep attacking the infantry. You guys keep attacking the line infantry that's running away here. My general should, if he gets a wiggle on, should be should be okay at knocking out some of these pesky Swedish troops. How it's his attack ground, because they should be fully loaded by now. Fire! As the shells come flying in. Quick climb, cough. Blow a hole straight through the middle of them. Down to 50. Cease fire. Damn right, we're going to continue. The more damage we do, the more likely they are to decide, you know what? We don't want to hang around, hang around here. We want to go back to a city. And there you go. Attack the 45th, because the artillery is not firing. You can knock them out. Yep, good. I can't help my general out, but you can all attack this unit of line infantry who are done for. And then it's this last unit of cuirassier that seems confused. They got through. They got. There's three left. There's one there. There's one there. One last guy. One veteran militiaman who's like I'm <laughs> I'm running this way still we took him out which is nice so then this army can replenish for the loss of only 300 men okay they've retreated into the hills or into the woods well, sort of into the woods okay you can run up and take them out Helmer Yodikson chop so both these armies are in real, real need of replenishment. But if I hit... Okay, right-click and attack Komi. It'll take them three turns to do that. It'll take you two turns to get to Kazan, so that can carry on. Then we've got this river. Well, there's one exposed crossing point here, which we can't really do anything about. We've cancelled the construction here, because we're about to... We're likely to lose Astrakhan. Unless we are close enough somehow that they call in call us in for reinforcements. We're not in position to attack Monsieur Edhem. This force here is just recruiting more men, because we're going to need it. And then we've got this force up here, Philip de Rousselet, who is going to attack Petrovskaya away from the... take it away from the Swedish Empire. So they're going to start to see um, a massive front line appear all around them. We may end up breaking Sweden and then squashing south into the Ottoman Empire from the north. That would still be quite a good result, I think. OK, 
Okay, this is going to be a bit messier. Well. Yeah, this th these guys need their artillery replacing. Big time. So I know the great advantage of horse artillery is that it's mobile, but if there's one thing I'm not really bothered about keeping mobile, it's artillery. I don't mind I don't mind a bit of movement. So let's put some light infantry over on the left in these trees. But I want to keep a some infantry here to push the left, considering that's where we've got a big artillery position. Cavalry stay wide. So gonna be, this is going to be late game artillery. We want to push up hard. Artillery from firing obliquely should be really good at, at um, clearing out... Is obliquely even the right word? Firing... Firing from this angle will be very effective at knocking out their um, artillery. Our howitzers can focus on clearing out some of their infantry. Our infantry, our infantry, meanwhile, are doing a fantastic job at getting right up in their face. It's like the dragoons are charging. They can't seem to make up their mind about who it is they want to attack. But we've been hit by various um, we've been hit by various artillery units or by various artillery shots so we need to actually these two flanks on the right are going to push up this infantry here needs to push up hard There we go, get these guys out of square. Fill up this gap. And there we go, we've got a lovely little cauldron. You know, mountain troops are okay from, sort of okay from here. As these mountain troops are, hey, they don't go pew, pew, pew. Although I'm pretty sure that's, they're suffering from the terrain there. Our cavalry has been charged by one of their regiments of horse. You men fall into square. Did all my horse artillery is just opening up. But it's only six pounder horse artillery. They're not quite as devastating as it could be. Let's get my cavalry over onto the right. All of my cavalry over onto the right flank. I have no doubt that my I have the cavalry advantage as well as the infantry advantage and the artillery advantage. So all my artillery is going to be aiming at these units because they should get a better... Oh, I, I right-clicked not to not onto you guys, you fools. Kind of worked, though. We didn't lose many of ours and their cavalry units destroyed. Oh, yeah, you guys are... You guys are going to have a bad time. So I've just withdrew your cavalry support. Oh well. So while you're killing them, these guys are going to try and form a line. I never learn. <laughs> Here they come again. Yeah, fair enough. Have at it, fellas. Let's push these dragoons up there. Let's curve these men around like so. All my field artillery. Bring down fire on those cavalry. Actually, only two of them. Two, the other two engage. That unit, regiment of horse. They are upset. Hooray! 
very well. So let's try and get you guys into this house. And then these guys are going to try and push around. Ah. You should be cleaning up this regiment of horse. Because you are... You're a CA, you're the 46 horse guards. Yeah. Lots of this infantry you just kind of feel sorry for. Because it's just like, nah. Like, you guys aren't going to withstand this. I'm just going to cease fire with my artillery. It is not necessary. My six pounders can't reach the 66th anyway. So let's run some of my infantry through the town to try and see if we can get the this unit of superior line infantry to abandon their position. Get you guys out of there because you're actually just going to do more damage now shooting at my cavalry it's trying to win us the battle building captured a house and we've immediately given it up instead we want these skirmishes to start picking out the superior line infantry so then this light infantry unit yeah yeah they weren't gonna stand up to that sort of abuse forever then we want them over here now do you kill no this they're still on we've still got Actually, a unit of superior line infantry who's going to really quite annoyingly fire into the action. There we go. We've started to engage the superior line. Fine. Cavalry attack the superior line. The regiment of horse should follow. So they always do. It's annoying. They run away and then you go, fine. I'll run my infantry away. They go, ha ha, we've got you. You're now facing the wrong way. You want to think, oh, for God's sake, just fight me. Same thing here, like this, this keep skirmishing away. So that's why they're fusiliers, but still, just kill them. Superior line infantry are going down. So you men run. Put the line infantry to the sword. Superior line infantry are dead. Those men are dead. So even these are fusiliers, and fusiliers are terrible in melee combat. Just send them in. Because at least it traps them from both sides. From It stops these guys from just running this direction. It just gives them something to focus on. There we go. And then let's just speed up time because these guys, look at them. They're there going, oh, we're firing by rank. They fired off their volley. Ah, what a surprise. They don't want to sit there and be shot at by my guys. Double standards. <laughs> but let's Petrovskaya take and hopefully they've got a... Good, they do have a barracks. Because that means we can... Repair the military governor's barracks. We can replenish my troops. And we can also replace all of this horse artillery with 12-pounder artillery. And start to um, recruit a smaller army to go hit Archangelsk. 
So let's do a bunch of economy investments here, because it looks like yeah, you can have a fishery, why not? Petrovsky is earning 6,000 turn, and that's not even with any real good upgrades. Oh, you got basic. Oof, I got basic roads. It's been upgraded. I'm just going to pick a few of these out just to make sure that we are. Okay, yeah, we have done them. Okay, so we can't fight any more down here. You are ripe for the ass kicking by Adrian, but you're actually Adrian is going to wait to see where you go because you might swing east, west. Sorry. So you're standing guard. We can't cross because there's this fleet, but we can stand guard. We're not going to build anything because we can expect they'll raid us. They might end up going this direction, in which case you cannot stop them, but you will be be ready. Uh, you get up here. Start churning out some infantry because these guys might get up to no good. Okay. So then down here, well, with the Austrians we need to engage. We've got a reasonable force here to act as a garrison. If we hit Oscar Bischoff, Bischoff, Biscoff. We could draw these guys into a battle and hopefully kill both of them, which would be the gold standard. Don't want to do anything in Europe. Well, we probably will want to push. The question is, can I push out of Bavaria? Minus one. Yeah, they'll be a bit grumpy about it, but they'll like it. So we can push south. Obviously, we're attacking Vienna. We're attacking Warsaw. Attacking Konigsberg. Soon the pathway to Yelgava will be open. Um, but we want to take... Oh, no, obviously, obviously we've got this fight down here. At the ready. Very well. Oh, no, I have to... Does it want me to fight a giant battle against everyone? Because I can't just take the city. Hmm, maybe Remy is going to take the city. Because the so, otherwise I have to fight... Oh. absolute mob if you guys get intercepted we'll retreat but what i really want them to trigger and i want i really want to intercept them that's what i want to happen so that's how it's going to go down there so i think the next big thing is to take this garrison of tangier well it doesn't actually who do we we would rather this army attack us I don't. I don't think. Well, they control. No, that's that's their movement. I don't think their control zone is is enough. We definitely, definitely can attack them. Yeah. So if 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 these guys aren't going to help this army, then this army wouldn't have helped them. So if we attack and destroy this army, or as much as we can, this army might then attack the city. But most of this army is either camels or low quality infantry. So that will be an easier one to defeat. So let's attack Sigmund Lenz in the Moroccan desert. Most of the army are guerrillas, so if we get aggressive, push up, they will break and run in front of our volleys. That will be the, the best way to dispatch them, I believe. So let us see the terrain. Hopefully it's pretty good. Yeah, that's pr that is pretty good. There we go. Deploy our howitzers. But yeah, most of the enemy is... So you can tell this is one of my garrison armies because it's got quite a high proportion of elite troops in it. But because they've got lots of irregulars and we've not got much cavalry, we're not going to really pursue. So all we can do... Yeah, they've got a lot of hit, big, large proportion of hidden units as well. not entirely bothered about their artillery positions you yeah, would rather have done more damage to their camels but yeah look 19 mercenaries 105 light african mercenaries 
You've got some camels, lots of irregulars, gorillas, you know, units that really aren't a problem. Let's push up. A couple of volleys and then they'll they'll run. Actually, let's div divvy up my artillery a bit. Even though it's only light. Let's get one set of guns, roughly, per camel unit. Yeah, I tried to deploy stakes, but that didn't work. Get my general to start chasing down. Yeah, they're, they're, they're mercenaries, they're irregulars. Oh, God, alive. It's pretty damn decisive. I think they're done for. Are you guys charging us? You are, you silly billies. You guys square, quickly. Three target, my howitzers. Got to be careful with my... Well, if I had any, because they're deploying stakes everywhere. Deploy my cavalry back here, because they've got some light dragoons we can take care of. Oh, they fired a shot off a volley at my general's bodyguard, but only got one. So my cuirassier go after the light dragoons. You might draw in the enemy general. Yeah, just keep the square going. They're not going to be able to break it. Not with these pansy ass troops. There we go. Yeah, so we charge the light dragoons and we annihilated them. Let's go get the general's bodyguard. So if I deploy to get these guys out of square formation, will you charge? Because that's usually what happens. They go, well hang on now. Yeah, look at all these Look at all these cavalry defences. Running around here with any sort of cavalry would be a, a big mistake. So let's advance you up a little bit. I do appreciate I've exposed my right flank a bit to a camel charge. But that's okay. Because look at him. In they come. And these guys are garrison guards, so they're not rubbish. How it says ceasefire. Enemy general's been killed by my cuirassier. These camels charging. They are. Hello. Let's wait to draw them in. Let them think we've not seen them. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Yeah, there we go. They've. There goes the enemy. Guerrilla mercenaries. All you guys, quick climb that unit of mercenaries. Good, because you've killed the general's bodyguard. You're going to go over here. Well, we've killed the general, so we don't need to worry about killing his bodyguard. You men form square again. There we go. So it won't be long till both those units break. Yeah, the general's bodyguard. I was going to say, they shouldn't come back when the army's been killed. We're going to continue... Cease artillery fire. 
I'm not expecting great things. But if I can knock out a few units, then I'll be happy. Because fundamentally this army is a garrison army. Yeah, I'll, get rid I'll, get, I'll, I'll, I'll attack those seven men. Ah, it's 15 there. Yeah, but this is a garrison army. If you know you don't you want some cavalry in a garrison army, you don't want a lot. So I wouldn't expect them to necessarily do tremendously well. There's only three in that unit, or two, but they're quite far away, so I may as well attack this unit as it's all together. Largely. There we go. Now you go after that mortar battery crew. Try to go after these regulars because they're both going to route. Those Amazons are going to route for sure. And so are you. Only if the AI is really nice and it stops them all before they get to the line. Nope. Damn. That wasn't a close victory. That was a solid victory. So the likelihood is they're going to run around and raid all our stuff. Yeah, we can't. We haven't got the movement to go and attack them, so... Although... I mean, you could probably could probably kill them, because they're actually not... Not particularly strong, but I want to see what these guys do. Will they run up and join up with them? Or will they just run around and break all our stuff? I suspect the latter. Lord. Yes, you're going to... You're replenishing with extra troops. You're all set up. You could drive south, but because the episode... Well, we've reached the end of this episode. What we're going to do is we're going to take this army. And we're going to attack Vienna. It being the Austrian capital and all. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time when we assault the capital of the hated Austrians. Cheers everyone.